Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Gold Fever is a little pressure luck game put out by Stronghold Games. Now, the components that you get, I mean, they're very nice and chunky and all that, but isn't something you're going to look at and be like, wow, I really want to play this game. This is a pressure lock dwindled down to the lowest common denominator. What I mean by that is it's very simple to play. You're literally going to draw a rock from a bag, and based on what color that rock is, certain things will happen. If you get the same color twice, then you're probably going to bust. There's also one where you pull the rocks, and then everybody has to pull them out as quickly as possible. And what you're trying to do is draw a gold nugget from the bag. If you like drawing things from a bag, that's fine, but this is more about the pressure of luck, that anticipation of, well, maybe I'll just try one more. It's just luck, and you're just pressing it, and you're and you're hoping that a better result will come out. With that said, I had a lot of fun with this game. Now, I like to spread the like, Mega Land, which a lot of people talked about. Mega Land didn't work for me because of some of the runaway leader problems, where this is literally just drawing from a bag. I could play this in line. My daughter and I got off of the Dice Tower Cruise, and we were in these long lines. We just kind of played this as we were going. You could play this in line at Disney at a restaurant. Very easy. Everybody has their own bag. You're not pushing. You're not flicking. You're just drawing things out. So it's very, very portable and very fun. And I think that's really what this place would have for me. That I can put this in my pocket. If me and my daughter are going out, maybe before a movie we want to play a game, I can just put these two bags in my pockets and I'm ready to go. It's that easy. I don't need to bring the box and everything else. And that's a huge plus sometimes in situations like that you would have. You know, I don't want to just go somewhere and be on a phone. I want to sit down with my kids, maybe interact, talk, play a game as we do that. This is a great thing for that. This is not going to blow your socks off. I don't think it's going to replace ink and gold for you, for people that like that. But I think it's a little bit better than what's been talked about. The components are really simple. It's not a whole lot to it. But you can literally sit down and play this with anyone. I'm going to keep it around because we do have a good time with it. I think it has very specific instances where it really pulls out and shines for us. And I like that quite a bit. Here's the box for Gold Fever. It's okay. It's kind of silly. It has this Gold Fever all around it. I think it's supposed to look like a, maybe a cigar box or something. I don't know. So you're going to have these five pouches, kind of how I do it, with the rules here on the bottom, which we'll take a look at the rules in a few minutes. Let me just kind of show you. It's Really, this is the only component. You get five of these bags. And they're nice bags, actually. They're big enough to put my big old hands in. And you're going to get a bunch of these gems. These are nice, chunky gems. Very nice. Uh, you know, it's okay. So the components are actually pretty good for what it is. It's just a small pressure luck game. And you're going to get enough for or five players in order to play. That's the components. Here's the rule book. You can see it has a different kind of gems that will be inside and shows you the components. I always like that. It'll show you how to play, what you're digging, what each of the things are when you pull them out, which is really nice. And it has some variants here on the back. It's just an advertisement. So really the rules are just right here. Very simple, very clear. You can probably pick this up and be playing within five minutes. So once you're making long turns digging in your bag, what you want to do is get five gold nuggets. The first person to get five gold nuggets wins the game. So what you're going to be doing is pressing your luck. When you bring these gems out, each one will do something different. Let's say I got a blackout, and then I got a gold. I could stop, put the black back in the bag, and I would just score this one gold. It could be never taken away from me. So let's go over each of these. If you pull a blackout, nothing happens. If you pull a whiteout, nothing happens. If you pull a gray out, nothing happens. If you ever draw a second of any of these, then you would bust and you would be done for the round. If you are drawing a red one, a ruby, that everybody would draw from the bag as quickly as they could until somebody got the first gold, and then they would have to yell out, gold! So you not only have to grab a gold out of the bag one at a time, you have to yell gold, and then you would get to keep your gold. If you get the green one, then you must pull two out of the bag one at a time, so it increases your chances of busting. That's what green's going to do. Green's going to force you to bring two out of the bag. And that's how you play the game. First one to get five gold nuggets out wins. Who should buy this game? I think this is for non-gamers, somebody who wants something quick. If you're looking for something portable, this will definitely fit that bill for you. You can put this in your pocket, literally just a couple bags or however many you need, and go. You can play this on a road trip. You can play this on an airplane with somebody. It's, it's very easy, very fun. 
and I think it fits a lot of different scenarios for me. So Fever Gold, while it's not a main event, it's not something you're going to center a night around, I think it's a really fun thing. You can literally play it while people are showing up for game night, and they can just jump right in. It doesn't matter that much. Really fun little party game. Pressure Luck, it has that aspect to it, and anyone can play this one. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing games.